Each week we introduce you to a Chargers player and his life off the field. This week uh, we meet an undrafted free agent who found a way to make the team. Annie Halbrun has the story. There's a certain Charger safety who may be new to the team, but he's tough to miss on the field. Not only is he a strong player, but he's that guy with the full head of hair. What's up guys? I'm Jalila Dai. Jalil Adai snuck on the scene this preseason, a pickup by new general manager Tom Telesco, who praised the rookie for his quick twitch athletic ability as well as his instincts and physicality. Described by teammates as an energetic, enthusiastic player, Adai was the one who delivered a punishing hit on Titans wide receiver Kenny Britt in the third game of the season, his dreadlocks flying around the field behind him. Tell me about your hair. Why the long hair? Um. Well, honestly, where I'm from in Florida, you know, being coming from the state of Florida, it's kind of like a style. The last time I actually got a haircut was um, the age of seven. Um, age of seven, probably, uh, what, first, second grade? I started off with braids. Um, had braids for a while since I was young. My mom used to take care of my hair or whatnot. Got to high school and decided I wanted dreadlocks, and I've let it flow since then. In college, Central Michigan, you started as a hybrid running back slot receiver before your coach said he wants that hair on the other side of the ball. Yeah. <laughs> and you got a nickname, right? What was that nickname? Predator from yeah. the student section. And this is because of the hair? Because of my hair. Um, a lot of people say that when I'm out there flying around, you know, being intense and playing with passion, with my hair flowing up my helmet with the mask or whatnot, um, I kind of look like the Predator. So I thought it was pretty sweet and pretty catchy. I think it, it works, right? Yeah. What kind of strength does it give you on the football field? My inner strength. You know, like Goku on Dragon Ball Z. You know, like when he gets erupts, that's what it makes me feel like. You're an undrafted free agent, and to be an undrafted free agent and make it on the 53-man roster, you got to have a little swag, right? Yeah. So when you're out in the field, does it just kind of give you that extra it factor, that extra confidence? I mean, yeah, being a DB, you know you have to play with confidence. You know, that, that comes with it, you know. Um, and then when I'm out there, you know, I have my hair hanging. Um, I feel, look good, feel good, play good, yeah. and that's the motto I've been... You know, I've been living by it since I was young, and, and my dreads give me that extra oomph. I mean, is that kind of a signature thing for you? Do you, do you ever think you'll cut it? Um, not at all. I don't want to cut it at all. You know, I think it's pretty sweet to have dreadlocks hanging out the back of your helmet, you know, when you're around there flying around. It's, it's going everywhere. It's, it's a neat look. Someone came up to you and said, hey, we're going to give you, you know, a new car to cut your hair. Never. Really? Never. It's right. part of you. It's part of me. It's in my back pocket. Everywhere I've gone, it's been there, you know, so through the ups and downs, the good times, the bad times, you know, celebration, sorrow. So it takes me where I want to go. I mean, it gives you my strength, my power. That's what I like to think. Very interesting story. Come on. We got to get Andy you. Joins us now. We got to get you to, you know, rock some of that hair. I was doing some math. <laughs> if I would have not gotten any haircuts since the age of uh, 12, roughly when I was in seventh grade, I would have probably saved $10,000. Absolutely. <laughs> Tell that to my hairstylist, all right? Women have to do so much more. But, you know, fun story. I mean, this is a guy who really his identity has been found in his hair, and it's really given him something that through the years he's held on to. But he has a lot of playing ability. Obviously, he played offense and defense in college. He knows his way around the football field. And uh, you were saying that Eric Whittles helped him out quite a bit. Right, yeah. No, um, but to your first point, I talked to John Pagano this week about him, and Pagano said that absolutely he's a guy that's trying to absorb as much as he can. He wants to be in on every play, he wants to be the guy making that hit. But Eric Weddle absolutely has been instrumental to Jaleel Adai and how he's learned in this defense. And this whole secondary, really, I, I talked to a lot of them this week about what Eric Weddle does. And he has these meetings, like player meetings, where they go over extra film and whatnot. And the players were telling me, look, you might think player meeting, you know, everyone's kind of messing around. No one's really paying attention that much. Eric Weddle tests them. He quizzes them. He puts them through the ringer to make sure they know their assignments. They know what they're doing. They said they get so much out of these player meetings, and they're so big for their improvement. 